Hi there and welcome back to Japan and to my karaoke room where can you still hear people singing through the wall? Maybe just me? Anyway, good to them. Hopefully I don't get copyright call out because today I want to talk to you about Because the new song by Dreamcatcher. Dreamcatcher you say? Why are we covering a K-pop group on this channel which is supposedly about Japanese music? Well I'll tell you why. Because they are a band who, if you've been with the channel for a while, you'll know this is true, have actually really stuck with us. Now, the reason I say that is because when we first listened to them, it was part of our old World Tour Wednesday segment where we were picking up on different countries and their music. And we listened to Korean music, and I must admit, I can't deny that as a general, most K-pop kind of came across as being, you know, the stereotypes are true. Not saying it's all bad or anything, but it was just kind of all very much cut from the same cloth. But Dreamcatcher certainly were not. They stood out as being something quite different. And when I listen to Dreamcatcher and I think of Dreamcatcher, I'm more reminded of a lot of the movement that has happened ever since really Babe Metal, specifically mostly in Japan, which has been that whole idea of fusing sounds. Dreamcatcher do that. They bring the K-pop poppy sound but they mix it with rock elements and they do it so many different ways. We've heard them do everything from songs like Red Sun, which are just straight down pop songs done really nicely, all the way to things that have been much more just straight hard rock songs. And it doesn't really surprise me at all, incidentally with completely live backings, doesn't surprise me at all that this is a band who have really concentrated on having Japan only releases because I think they realize that that's a whole scene that they fit into really well. And I agree, that's why I cover them on this channel because I think that they're relevant to that scene. Now, the song Because is an interesting one. I would perfectly understand anyone who said that this is kind of Dreamcatcher doing Dreamcatcher's core sound, but to me it really stood out as kind of nailing a few things that they've worked on previously, and some parts of their sound which haven't always worked really work here. Let's look at all the things it fuses together because it fuses together a lot of really cool elements. The rock side of the song is absolutely there but really the key to me for this song is how it's constructed. The various elements in it that may not seem obvious at first. Now the first thing I really liked is that a lot of the song especially from the beginning and in the choruses is built around this kind of little riff and obviously Dreamcatcher have always done those kind of shall we say, horror movie tropes in a lot of their videos and a lot of their concepts. Now, I like that the da, 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 it was very sort of lightly played. It kind of had that value like, you know, when horror movies, they always use like a delicate music box to give you the scary because it's so delicate kind of riff. This had that feeling and it was a good riff as well. It has a little bit of a sort of rhythm shift to it, which means that as a result, you can enjoy it over and over again without it getting too wearing. The other aspect as well is that the chorus of this song does kind of go back to something which previously I hadn't enjoyed since some songs like Screaming, which is that idea of building up to a chorus that is effectively a loop. You know, you kind of you build up and drop style chorus. But here it works critically for two reasons. One, unlike Screaming, the vocals are really involved here. Yeah, you have a very simple chorus, which is just basically because I like you, that line. But then there is a little call and answer in there. The other aspect though, is that it goes to that drop down, but then it goes round a couple of times and then adds the guitar. So in other words, the drop down is not just, hey, we've gone to this minimalist loop for the refrain. It's a case of, oh, you've gone to that. Okay, you're nodding your head. All right, now you're enjoying that. Now we're gonna throw in the heaviness and it's all gonna come together. So you kind of get two bites of that cherry. You get, like I say, the breakdown, but then it builds back up which to me is a very simple but wise way of making sure that you get the most out of your refrain and your refrain doesn't feel like, well, like you'd expect to break down to a bit underwhelming. Because also has wonderful verses as always, using some nice melodic tricks to get the atmosphere building up and it has a great pre-chorus, which again, does the same trick that the uh, chorus, the refrain, should I say, whatever you want to call it, uses of starting with no guitar and then really adding the guitars heavy which is how it builds up to the refrain so you're constantly kind of going through this idea of here's a nice little light bit where there's just sort of a beat and a bit of intensity and then the guitars coming in to really pump it up and then going backwards and forth between that it just kind of works it makes everything gel it gives everything a sense of movement now the bridge in this song is very typical dream catcher it's the real sort of we're gonna go for the atmospheric type bit here Again, it's serviceable. It's it's not really reinventing the wheel. And I do completely agree that this song in many ways is Dreamcatcher, just sort of doing Dreamcatcher's thing. But 
as pointed out, even if it is them appealing to their core sound rather than trying anything new, just every step of the way, this song really does work. It really nails all of those things. So as I often say about bands doing their core sound, if you are someone who already likes Dreamcatcher, this is a song that is really going to appeal to you. Yes, it's not going to necessarily win over any new fans, but I think it's really great. And moreover, that chorus got stuck in my head. As I point out, songs like Screaming, they didn't get stuck in my head because it was just too simple. It didn't make the most of what was going on there. This one, however, it did get stuck in my head because of the fact that the because I like you, just that one line, is supported by so much musically going on. It is true that if you wanna do like a loop, this is the case for if you're doing like hip hop backings or if you're trying to do a catchy pop chorus, you want your simple core, the thing that actually gets stuck in your head, but the way that you stop that getting irritated is by adding enough musically behind it, the, sorry, getting irritating, is by adding enough musically behind it that actually it's engaging, that your ears are engaged by more than just the catchy, repetitive earworm bit. It means that there's a nice vehicle to get that memorable bit through to you without annoying you at the same time. Not that I'm saying that Screaming is an overly annoying song, it's just one that I'm not exactly driven to come back to, and that's the easiest comparison to use here. This song to me really does nail everything that I think Dreamcatcher wanted to do with their core sound, and it's brilliant. Obviously, I hope they keep on doing their experimentations. I love those. I love the hard rock stuff that they were doing in Japan. I like some of the poppier stuff that goes in the direction that, as I say, Red Sun did. I actually really like that this band has so much variation in them. And as I pointed out before, that to me separates them so much from so many of the groups who are also coming out of Korea. I think that they're actually musically engaging and interesting. And even when they're, uh, they're not as strong songs, at least it always feels like they're actually trying something. They're always doing something, which to me just makes them an interesting group. I look forward to their songs in the same way that I look forward to songs from bands or perhaps more of the experimental Bish type groups from Japan. I genuinely look forward to their songs because I know I'm going to get something different, which certainly would not be the way I would feel if I was a uh, fan of, shall we say, mm, Blackpink. <laughs>